Hey folks, hey Brad Miller with you today. Um, wanted to talk to you about some uh, ideas for for shopping for Christmas. And one of my favorite things about Christmas shopping this time of year is that for better or for worse, when I go shopping, I usually wind up buying stuff for myself, which uh, uh, I like. Um, but a lot of times it's a difficult because I, I don't know what to get other people. Uh, <clears throat> we're talking about fly fishing. We're talking about some ideas. The first thing I'm going to tell you about is something that's been really popular at FlyBass.com for a long time, and that's um, if you're looking at getting somebody something pretty nice, uh, how about a new uh, rotary uh, vise? This is the Peak Rotary Vise. This is the one we sell most of on FlyBass.com. Um, what do I like about it? Yeah, it's made in Colorado, for one. Uh, and number two, it's just very well, very well made. The main thing I like about the Peak Vice is this great big base it's got. Uh, it's heavy, um, and it's great just you can set it aside and throw it, put it on your desk and start tying. Uh, it's got three different size jaws you can get for it. There's a ton of different accessories uh, for this vice that you can use uh, and add to it. So it's it's sort of modular that way, but it's a great vice for $150. You can't hardly beat it uh, for that price range. So the peak rotary vice would be the best vice you could get one, someone for a Christmas present uh, or for yourself. And um, uh, you'll you'll it, it's a vice that'll last you for the rest of your life. Now they're just fantastic. Let's talk about fly reels for a while. You know, um, uh, what are the differentiating factors uh, with fly reels. The cheapest type, the most inexpensive type of fly reel you can get is a graphite uh, fly reel. Um, these are just basically a glorified plastic reel. Um, everybody makes them. They're very inexpensive. They cost $25, $30. And uh, I don't recommend a plastic uh, fly reel. If you're going to get serious or somewhat serious about fly fishing, you want to start with, at the very least, with what's called a aluminum cast uh, reel, meaning that um, this is poured and cast and then put together as opposed to a uh, a machined fly reel like this one. You can all, you can pretty much tell by looking at them because they're the, the hue that they they have are, are different. Uh, this reel, for example, right here it costs about sixty dollars. This is a talon from Maxon that we sell on flybass.com. A very, very nice reel, especially for for fresh water. I wouldn't recommend this for salt water because the drag is not waterproof. And you want to have a waterproof drag when you're looking at saltwater applications. If you're looking at one reel uh, to use uh, for both freshwater or saltwater, and you're not sure what to get, make sure that you get a reel, a, a CNC machined reel, okay, with a waterproof drag. Uh, this one happens to be uh, a, a CNC machined reel from Maxon called the XMX. And I actually used this reel last uh, spring for bonefish in the Bahamas. It worked very well. Um, just make sure that you rinse them off really good when you're done fishing for the day, every day. And when you get back uh, home from a saltwater trip, make sure you strip out all the line, give everything a chance to dry, wash them out real good. But for $140, this is probably about the best deal I've seen in a CNC machine fly reel. Works out great. It's got a very nice drag. We've been selling um, new cast fly reels for a long time. This happens to be the Synergy line, and they're probably some of the most beautiful fly reels I've, I've come across. Um, you want to get, uh, this particular Synergy line would be designed for fresh water, okay, because it does not have waterproof drag. Uh, but it is, uh, it's an excellent fly reel. We use it all the time. Uh, this would be a 5.6 size right here compared to a, uh, like a, this would be a 7.8 okay for seven eight weight rod for bigger fish and then we get into the larger salt water type reel category um, for a hundred approximately hundred and fifty dollars I believe for these synergies it's a very very nice and a beautiful machine reel um, when we step up to a, a, a reels that are actually made for salt water with the with the waterproof drag and a very smooth drag system uh, this happens to be the blue crush from Newcast and we used this last year in the Bahamas for barracuda and bonefish and I've used it for tarpon and it works fantastic. Um, uh, as a matter of fact I've got a steel leader on here for barracuda from last spring and uh, just a really really nice reel um, and at $375 it may sound like a lot of money but when most of the CNC machines uh, saltwater reels start at $500 
this is actually quite a value. And this is the Blue Crush from Newcast. And this is perfect for anywhere from a, like a 9 to probably an 11, 11 weight rod. Okay. So those are some ideas on reels. Now I'm going to finish up here with something that's not quite as expensive. But my favorite tool I've come across. And I've talked about this a little bit. But this is the mitten scissor clamp from Newcast. And, you know, for years people have used these hemostats uh, on their trout vests or whatever to help um, extract flies and pick flies out of stuff or whatever. But the problem is, is, that, is that if you do have to cr crimp split shot or something like that, usually these aren't tough enough to do that. Um, I like the mitten scissor clamp because it's like four tools in one. It's got a little spike there to pop out the glue that or paint that might be in a jig or a fly. Um, it's got a both a serrated gripper and then it's got a uh, flat uh, standard end there for just gripping and holding and it's got the scissors right here for cutting. So you've got several different tools in one whereas typically you have three or four tools laying around. This is all in one. I like it obviously because you don't have to stick your fingers in some sort of a scissor type mechanism. All you do is grab it, squeeze it, open it up and then you have three different levels of tension you can put on that thing. Now this happens to be the 7 inch which I use all the time up here in Minnesota for bass, northerns, even muskies and larger fish. I also use it for ice fishing. It's the handiest tool I've ever found for ice fishing because you've always got gloves or mittens on and uh, it, you clip it onto your shirt and uh, it's always there ready to go. And yet it's kind of out of the way. So, whoop, let's get this on there right. Okay, just hang it there and then go to work. This is the five and a half inch size. This foam on the here, here makes it a little bit easier to grip. And this would be the size for pan fish or trout. Smaller fish, things like that, perch, things of that nature. It also comes with a, uh, a different type of a, a finish on it. This happens to be called Skin Z. This is the American Flag Patriot one. It also comes in trout and uh, camouflage as well. And uh, just some really, really cool tools, uh, especially if you don't want to spend a lot of money. These things are about 20 bucks and uh but they are fantastic anybody that goes fishing needs to have a mitten scissor clam period okay all right hey brad Miller with flybass.com uh, thanks for watching today i hope we gave you some ideas and a little bit of information on some uh, thoughts about gift giving this holiday season have a great one bye bye